he has the responsibility to get it going for them had a glorious chance to finish it in normal time did Douglas made a meal of that one score two penalties against Dingell in the quarterfinal matchup can he score here Malachi Douglas steps up oh he misses off the upright Clarendon College they are under pressure early the tambourine sounds for Mannings shows the right where right way Blair was nowhere close to it goal at his mercy Douglas and yeah misses the captain Number seven to another number seven, Abina Wallace for Manning School. Romeo Daniels knows he is going to be critical to keep Clarendon College in this one. Abina Wallace has a cap on his head. Will he have his head on his body ready for this kick? He steps up. He converts easily. Let me tell you, this Manning's team are very certain from the spot. Very confident from the spot. That was a solid penalty. Pace, direction, and accuracy. And sufficient height as well. It would always be difficult for a goalkeeper to get to that one. Kima Jones, probably the play of the match for me from a Clarendon perspective. Very good, had the assist for the goal. Good attacking play from the overlapping position. Can he keep them in it? Number four, can he make it one for Clarendon College? He steps up. He does so. He's had a very good game. No surprise that he buried that kick for Kima Jones. Very good overlapping right back was down the center, but wrong footed goalkeeper Blair. And then just placed it to the weaker side. Romeo Daniels will have to make a save or hope for a Manning's miss. Or they will be out. Stepping forward for Manning School. Number 11, Rashawn Graham, from 12 yards, can't he make it count, Graham, he buries it, and he has the dance as well, Daniel's Stern got a touch. and fried. Daniel's got a touch, but it wasn't enough, too much pace behind it from Graham, this is the thing about these Manning youngsters purpose in their kicks. He was running past it, Daniel. There's no real chance of him saving that. Just a finger to it. But a piece of that shot bursting past the left hand. And Manning continued to hold the advantage. Kahim Dixon, the goal scorer for Clarendon College, just steps up. Can he hold his nerve? Dixon from the spot! Blair got the hand to it, but it wasn't enough. Blair got a strong hand to it. Wasn't the best kick by Dixon, way too central. Wow, he should have saved that, Blair. Chose the right way, and it just knocked under him. Maybe just enough pace to burst through. Lucky Dixon. And yeah, he needed that for Clarendon to stay in touching distance. The substitute, he has a smile, Daniels. The substitute, Shamar Hamilton, steps up now. They stroll forward with such confidence. I almost interpreted his nerves. Hamilton. Oh, oh my. That's insolence. That's arrogance. That's class. Talk about composure. Just a step up and Shamar Hamilton buries it. Surprised he didn't start. But yeah, the confidence of their number 10. 
Oh, yes. No chance for Romeo Daniels. He wasn't smiling at that finish. And Mannings continue to be superb and perfect from the spot. Christopher Hull. Can he steady the ship of Clarendon College? Christopher Hull from 12 yards. There is it. Quality player Christopher Hull. He has had a very good game as well. And that was a very good penalty. Like the pace behind that kick. And even though he chose the right wear player, right direction, there was no way he was going to save that. And as Dean would say, the height was good for Hull. Romeo Daniels has to find a save or hope that for once Mannings, Mannings are inaccurate. The showman, Devontae Rodney. Devontae Rodney went for the ball himself in the back of the net. Will he bury his spot kick? The number 12 for Manning School. Can he convert from 12 yards? Oh, it's saved! Wow. That's the first time a man in his kicker hasn't looked all that confident. Looked timid when stepping up Rodney, yeah. and it was a poor penalty. No pace behind it, no direction. The run up was uncertain, and the save was excellent. Wow. Has to be consoled by Hamilton. Hodges, the man who created the opportunity for the man in goal, made the mistake that allowed Porter in. Can he bury this one? Hodges steps up. He buries that in no uncertain terms. Wow. That was a stomping penalty by Hodges. Well, over time, we've seen centre-backs take some real thumping penalties. <laughs> and that was another example. Had he even stood his ground, that might have taken him out. <laughs> right down the middle with awesome power. The captain comes forward for Mannings. He has to score. Javin Williams son of assistant coach Kevin Williams, goalkeeper coach. If he misses, Clarendon are in the final. If he scores, we go to sudden death. Chavin Williams, the captain, with a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Does he have accuracy on his right foot? Williams! Oh, he buries that one. Ooh. Daniels, he just went for raw power Javin Williams. I can't really say he, he planned an area to put it. And Daniels got a touch onto it. His legs got something on it here. Ooh, very lucky there. Yeah. Went through his legs in the end, off the inside of his right leg. Had it and been that, a, a tidbit weaker, it would have yeah, uh, that, been saved. That could have gone anywhere. Luckily for Clarendon College, for, for Mannings, it went in. Another substitute. DeAndre Gallimore. We are in sudden death now. DeAndre Gallimore. Hmm. Are we spotting? Never a good thing. Gallimore did well. Gets it done. Quite a few players going down the middle, anticipating the dive of the keepers. Blair went early. And Gallimore held his nerve. Advantage, Clarendon College. The other son of coach Kevin Williams. The brother of the captain, Chavin Williams, Kajay. 
had an opportunity to finish it in the 88th minute or thereabout. That one, that one went wide. He'll definitely need to bring this one on target. TJ Williams steps up and it's saved. Claren and College have come out victors in the dreaded penalty kicks. Williams falls to the ground in dismay. But rejoicing in Chapleton, rejoicing here for all the Clarendon College supporters and the players. They've been spared blushes. They live to fight another day. Clarendon College, Romeo Daniels, the savior, denying KJ Williams. Hugs all around for him. In sudden death, he kept them alive. Clarendon College are through to the DaCosta Cup final. Abina Wallace in tears. Romeo Daniels. Sorrow all around for Manning's players. And they run to the gallery. That was the moment that sealed Manning's fate. And once more, Clarendon College, CC. There's always a debate on who is the real CC, but there's no debate on who is going in the DaCosta Cup final for 2022. Richard Farmer there, talking with Romeo Daniels. KJ Williams, off your camera, still in tears. Yeah, the first one, Douglas missed. The captain missed for Clarendon College. Pressure. That was a miss from Devontae Rodney. The first failure from a Manning's player. Gallimore in sudden death. Did well for Clarendon College. And KJ Williams. Two saves for Romeo Daniels. And he is definitely the hero. Two big saves and Manning's who had a flawless penalty shoot.